Would you agree that intelligence is an important part of anything that you do? And we're constantly trying to quantify, we're constantly trying to measure what intelligence is. Intelligence, you can measure IQ, you can measure test scores, you can measure performance on the field. But let's talk about athletes specifically. How do you measure intelligence for athletes? So I actually want to break it down into five components, the five components that define intelligence for an athlete. So number one, the number one way, and actually I want, I want you to be aware that the final one, the fifth way to define intelligence for the athlete is actually the most important, which we're going to get to in just a minute. But the first way to define intelligence for an athlete is spatial awareness. So the athlete that is aware of his surroundings, you've seen it in multiple sports all the time. You see, you know, a basketball player who just unknowingly steps out of bounds. You see a basketball player who unknowingly runs into another person. You see football players, you see baseball players. They're not quite aware of what's going on around them. So spatial awareness, how aware are they of everything that is surrounding them? That's the first way to define intelligence for an athlete, spatial awareness. Number two, bodily, so kinesthetic, physically, what is going on inside their body? How aware, how much intelligence do they have going on inside of them, right? What do they feel physically? How much intelligence do they have in regards to their speed, and to, in regards to the quickness, in regards to what's going on in the specific skills of each sport. So the bodily, the kinesthetic intelligence has to do with skill development a lot of times in sports. So skill development is oftentimes, how do you move your body in a specific pattern? Take for example, example baseball, right? You have to move your body in a specific sequence in order to swing correctly. And there's fundamentals to do that. Now, obviously there's a difference between fundamentals and there's a difference between style. But having an awareness, having an intelligence behind what your bodily functions are actually doing is a certain level of intelligence that an athlete needs to have. If you're a coach or if you're a parent, think about someone who's able to make an adjustment, a physical adjustment to their mechanics quickly. That would be a high kinesthetic intelligence for an athlete. And then think about an athlete that struggles to make an adjustment physically their intelligence, their awareness of what's going on with their body, what's going on physically, just isn't that high. So there is an intelligence behind what's going on physically in the body of the athlete. So number one, spatial awareness, what's going on around them. Number two, bodily awareness, right? The kinesthetic side, what's going on with their physical body. The third type of intelligence would be what is going on as far as the logical and strategical side of the game? So this comes in forms of studying strategy, of paying attention and listening to your coaches. The logical side, the strategy side comes from watching professionals do it, uh, studying plays, studying game film. So there is a strategical side. There is a strategical, there is a, uh, an intelligence in that alone in understanding the game, right? Understanding the specifics of the game, understanding how the rules are structured, understanding how plays are developed. There is an intelligence in understanding the dynamics of the strategy of the game. So that's the third type of intelligence for athletes. The fourth type is interpersonal intelligence. So an athlete has to be able to relate to other people. Even if you're in an individual sport, you have to be able to relate to other people because you're going to have coaches. You're going to have other people that you're going to be training with. You're going to have to have other people that are going to affect how you prepare for your sport. Obviously, in a team dynamic, you have to have interpersonal intelligence as far as interacting with your teammates, interacting with your coaches interacting with members of you know maybe the medical team maybe members of the management team there is an intelligence behind the interpersonal side of an athlete even off the field even off the court there is an intelligence in a sense that you have to be able to understand the 
the inner workings of your relationships as an athlete off the field, off the court, because they're going to affect what happens on the court. So those relationships off the court with your family, with your friends are going to affect not only how you prepare it, but how you perform as an athlete. So the fourth level of intelligence is the interpersonal side. So number one, spatial awareness, what's going on around you as an athlete. Number two, kinesthetic, what's going on inside your body, having some awareness, having some intelligence to your physical side of things. Number three is the strategical side of things, having an understanding of the game, right? There is an intelligence, intelligence behind the strategy of the game itself. Number four is the interpersonal intelligence, interacting with your teammates, interacting with your coaches, interacting with your friends and family in relation to your sport. Then the fifth and the most important and the most influential and the most correlated to success in any field specifically, and I emphasize this in athletics as well, is emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is being able, not, not IQ, none of these five topics, none of these levels of intelligence were IQ because there's plenty of athletes that you can measure their IQ and their IQ is not that high. On the flip side, there's obviously athletes, you can measure their intelligence and it's off the charts. But in, as far as athletics are concerned, emotional intelligence, emotional intelligence is much more correlated, is actually the strongest correlation to success, much more than IQ or anything else. So just a quick recap of the five forms of intelligence for athletes. Number one, spatial awareness. What is going on around you? Number two, bodily awareness, right? Kinesthetic intelligence. What's going on inside your own body physically? Number three is strategical intelligence, understanding the game. Number four is interpersonal, understanding relationships with your teammates, with your coaches, with friends, family, all of the relationships that affect what you're going to do in preparation for your sport and competing in your sport. And then the fifth and most important, the most critical aspect, the most critical intelligence is emotional intelligence. So hope everyone's having an excellent day. Uh, if you found that useful, please give it a thumbs up, give it a heart. If uh, it really hit home with any point, for any of you watching, Patrick jumped on here. Hey, Sam, let's catch up. Patrick, how are you doing, my friend? Hopefully everything is going well. We just got a uh, little snowstorm up here in the Northeast. How's uh, everything going for you in Milwaukee, my friend? Um, a lot of former athletes on here as well. So comments, questions, let me know down below. Anything that you want discussed, let me know down below in the comments. If there's an athlete, if there's a parent, if there's a coach that needs to hear this, please, please, please share it with them. And obviously, all my friends and family out there, hope you're doing well. We'll see you guys on tomorrow's lesson.